In this video, we're going to learn about organ transplants and the ethics. Did you know that the first ever organ transplant was a kidney transplant in 1954? In fact, it was between two identical twins. Why and how? You'll learn just that in this video. An organ transplant is the replacement of a damaged or missing organ by a working and healthy organ. They can be any organs from livers to kidneys to skin. Yes, skin is an organ. Transplant can save or greatly enhance lives. The donated organ can either be from a deceased donor, so the donor decided to donate their organs before they died, or from living donors, with organs such as kidneys, because we have two but can live perfectly well with just one, it means we can be living donors for kidneys. Same with our liver, we can donate part of your liver. The blood type of the donor must be compatible for the blood type of the receiver, so that the organ is not rejected by the receiver's body. For example, people with O negative blood group can donate to anyone, the universal donors, but they can only receive from other O negative. Blood compatibility helped the identical twins mentioned earlier be a perfect match for each other. As well as blood groups, several other factors are taken into consideration when matching donor organs to receivers. These include body size, severity of patient's medical condition, distance between donor and receiver, or whether the patient is healthy enough to undergo the transplant. Some organs can survive outside the body longer than others, so the distance is a more important consideration for heart and lung transplants. Finding an organ isn't necessarily a fast process. It may take several years for a suitable organ to come along and for you to be considered the most needing recipient. Having a medical condition does not always prevent you from being an organ donor. At death, a doctor will decide whether some or all of your organs are suitable for transplant. Unfortunately, like all things, there are downsides. Sometimes the recipient's immune system will reject a transplanted organ as it thinks it's foreign and so destroys the transplanted tissue, just like your immune system does to foreign invading pathogens. To try and prevent this, receivers are given immunosuppressant drugs. This is a tricky balancing act. Too much drug suppresses the immune system too much and the patient is susceptible to infections and illnesses. However, too little drugs and the patient risks transplant rejection. As I'm sure you can imagine, there are some ethical issues surrounding organ transplants that need to be carefully considered, particularly with living donors such as friends or family potentially feeling pressured into donations, or parents being willing to risk their lives to donate an organ to their child, even though the operation might not be a success. Or more shockingly, is transplantation tourism. If the rich can buy organs off living donors, this has great potential to exploit the poor and violate the human rights. The World Health Organization has called for a ban on receiving compensation for organ donations to try to prevent this market growing. So, that's a brief summary of organ transplants and the ethics. Who knows, with 3D printing of organs, stem cell research and organ farms in labs on the horizon, we might not even need to wait for transplants in the future. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.